Alexander Skvortsov on the left, Artemiev in the middle, Swanson on the right as they say goodbye to their colleagues who uh, they have been aboard the station with since May. Saying goodbye to each other. Say it again. I didn't copy. Everything is nominal. We can see how you're saying goodbye to each other. A very close-knit crew. Skvortsov, uh, Swanson, uh, and Artemiev about uh, to... Uh... Moscow Station. All right, so I think they will be going and transitioning to the vehicle already. Yes, you have our go for that. And uh, the Expedition 40 crew uh, now inside uh, the orbital module, the upper section of the uh, Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft. One final round of photos, final waves, before they close the hatch and begin their preparations for undocking. All right, let's count the crew members. One, two, three. Yes, our crew is here. That's correct. So, please give us a go. Is this the right crew that needs to go home? Yes, everything looks right to me. Perfect. All right, you have a go to close the hatches. Please inspect the surface and the ceiling uh, closely before closing the hatches. Yes, copy. All right, they will close their hatch first, and then we will close our hatch. That's correct. The uh, process of uh, coming home for these three crew members uh, begins an extraordinarily long day, a day that uh, turns into about a 24-hour day, in fact, if not more. And there the hatch is closed uh, to the uh, Soyuz spacecraft at uh, 2.48 p.m. Central Time. Again, hatch closure at 2.48 p.m. Central Time, Steve Swanson, Alexander Skvortsov and Oleg Artemiev aboard their Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft. Uh, they soon will uh, place the transfer of power uh, from the uh, International Space Station to the Soyuz's onboard batteries, and uh, will begin the process of conducting leak checks and uh, donning their Sokol launch and entry suits. Yes, we can see everything perfectly, that you're closing the hatches now. Only one hatch, yeah, that's correct. Yes, they're closing their hatch. All right, we see it on our telemetry that the Soyuz hatch is closed. Great, we will be closing our hatch. R5. Swanson, uh, Skvortsov, and Oleg Artemiev uh, now are flying free of the International yes, Space Station. Operation. And the separation burn is underway. Uh, 
Впрочем, кажется, по Москве в канале СГ-1 для Москвы, но Максим, мы можем в СГ-1 переходить, и у нас есть информация для СГ. Station Moscow uh, for Maxim. Maxim, could you please move Maxim. to Space to Ground 1? We have some information for you. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, external cameras on the International Space Station zooming in. Uh, there's a, uh, there it is. There's your Soyuz TMA-12M spacecraft with uh, Steve Swanson, Oleg Artemiev, and Soyuz Commander Alexander Skvortsov on board, flying free of the International Space Station. The undocking uh, occurring about... Uh, and our regards to the guys. Okay, I will do that, of course. Uh, yeah, it will be the lucky time. <laughs> you know, uh, we were doing our best so that you feel that you're lucky when we are gone. Moscow station on space to ground two. Maxim is calling. Go ahead, Maxim. Could you please repeat uh, you know, the information that you have for me? Uh, once again, uh, you can move the uh, remaining crew members on board the station uh, line on the third talking uh, panel. So about some housekeeping issues on board the station with Russian flight controllers as we continue to watch the uh, Soyuz spacecraft with the three departing Expedition 40 crew members on board. And we just uh, saw the heat shield uh, being jettisoned on schedule, something uh, we rarely have an opportunity to see. The base of the Soyuz uh, now exposed uh, with its altimeters, uh, computing uh, positional altitude and velocity information to its onboard computers. Touchdown confirmed. Touchdown right on the button at 9.23 p.m. Central Time, 8.23 a.m. on Thursday morning on the steppe of Kazakhstan. The Expedition 40 crew, Steve Swanson of NASA and Russian cosmonauts Alexander Skvortsov and Oleg Artemiev are home back on Earth after 169 days in space. <laughs> <laughs> and just 20 minutes after touchdown, your Soyuz commander, Alexander Skvortsov, is out of the center seat of the Soyuz uh, descent module and being assisted uh, towards uh, a reclining comfortable chair uh, nearby uh, to have a few minutes uh, to get his equilibrium and his land legs back. And there is NASA, NASA's Steve Swanson, the Expedition 40 commander, who with this uh, mission and this landing today completed his third flight into space and a total of 196 days in orbit.
And uh, Oleg Artemyev is uh, now out of the Soyuz uh, spacecraft, so all three uh, crew members now out. Um, it's uh, often uh, more difficult uh, for the uh, crew member in the left seat, as was the case with Artemyev today, to be uh, extracted uh, as he is pulled over the center seat and out uh, of the overhead hatch. Uh, but uh, Artemyev looks well, and uh, all three crew members are now out. Uh, Dan, uh, we appreciate all of uh, your reporting, and uh, we wish you a safe uh, travel back to Moscow. Uh, you'll be heading down for the launch uh, with me here not too long from now, and we'll look forward to that as well. That's right. I'll see you in a couple of weeks, Rob. Thanks for the call. And I uh, got speed. Welcome home at Crew of Expedition 40. NASA Public Affairs Officer Dan Hewitt reporting from the landing site uh, southeast of Jezkazgan on the steppe of Kazakhstan on a cloudless morning uh, that saw the Soyuz TMA-14M, 12M spacecraft uh, touch down right on time at 9.23 p.m. Central Time about 37 minutes ago, 8.23 a.m. in Kazakhstan on Thursday morning. <laughs> And uh, Oleg Artemyev now uh, in the process of being brought uh, to the nearby inflatable medical tent. What you're watching here is a, a replay of uh, video uh, that came down uh, a short time ago, uh, just a few minutes ago, showing Alexander Skvortsov being brought into this inflatable medical tent uh, so that he can uh, be helped out of his Sokol launch and entry suit into more comfortable clothing. Skvortsov uh, was joined uh, moments later by NASA's Steve Swanson and a few minutes after that uh, by Russian cosmonaut Oleg Artemyev. And uh, there's Swanson uh, being assisted toward the medical tent, uh, wearing sunglasses uh, to shield his eyes uh, from the bright Thursday morning uh, sunlight. Again, uh, what you're watching uh, are ground personnel who provide uh, the video uh, for us from the landing site as they uh, are replaying. Uh, the crew being brought uh, into uh, the inflatable medical tent to the cheers of uh, support personnel, uh, members of the search and recovery forces.